Hey y'all, welcome back to Life on the Ridge. Another beautiful and windy day. I think that I should have named it Windy Ridge instead of Life on the Ridge because every time I want to make a video, the wind's swooping right through here. I mean, up on top of this ridge, there's not a lot of trees, so we get all the wind. And speaking of wind, back about a couple weeks ago, the trampoline, it, uh, blew down and across the road so I got it tied down now with about 300 pounds of sand I got a 50 pound bag of sand on each leg so hopefully that stays put but uh, it's hard to make videos in this wind y'all got my got my good help with me today and uh, if you can see behind me that's more fruit trees so if y'all watched the last several videos we were uh, preparing our site for fruit trees. Well, today we picked a bunch of fruit trees up from our local nursery, and uh, I'll explain what all we've got, but uh, we're gonna get them out of the bed of the truck and get them in the back of the side by side, and then go down to the, to the orchard and uh, get them in the ground. So a little update on the grass. Starting to come up a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell it on camera, but uh, a little bit of green right there. And uh, it's starting to come up pretty nice. So uh, it's been, I don't know, a couple weeks since we planted that grass. And uh, it's starting to come up pretty good. So hopefully a few more weeks, we have a nice stand of grass and keep the dirt from washing. So this is the row of fruit trees that we planted last year. And this was one of our Fuji's. It died and uh, we pulled it up, but it actually, I guess the root ball stayed alive. It's still trying to grow. So I'm gonna try to dig that up and put it in a pot and maybe we can save it. I don't know, but we're gonna put another tree here. And then uh, we've got a Fuji here it's not quite bloomed out yet, but you can see right there that it's wanting to. They don't like much. This is uh, Granny Smith right here, starting to uh, come out. This is my snail found. Find a snail? Oh man, yeah. This is one of our peach trees and it looks great. It's flowered out real nice. And uh, the recent snow that we had didn't kill it, so that's good. This is our other peach tree. And it's not doing so hot. Uh, so this is the main part of the tree. This limb here is flowered out and looking good. And then we had a little shoot at the bottom come off that I didn't get pruned in time so I left it. And it's, it's starting to uh, produce or starting to bloom but this top the top of this tree is not doing anything. I pruned it at the top here done a little bit of pruning on it. Uh, it just I don't know it doesn't look doesn't look very healthy. You can kind of see the wood to me it just doesn't look very healthy so we're gonna let it stay and we may end up pruning this top and just leaving those two shoots i don't know if y'all got a you you people out there that know a lot about fruit trees i'm open to all advice this is one of our pear trees and it is fully leafed out and got some flowers at the top don't see any more flowers on it though 
so I know that's probably not great. Leaves don't make fruit. But that's a pear tree. It looks good. This was actually a damaged pear tree that we bought. It was damaged in a storm last year because they cut it right there. And it was discounted, so we thought, ah, oh, what the heck, we'll try it. But this, uh, this turned out to be a nice tree. Looks pretty healthy. And then this is our other pear tree. And so far, it hasn't done anything this year. String broke in the recent storm and it get that retied. It's got a little leaf right there trying to grow. But uh, it, uh, it, is, it is behind that pear tree. So maybe it'll start growing. But this wind is terrible. We're gonna try to get these fruit trees in the ground. Stick around. Let's get to work. This is a honey crisp, it's a dwarf honey crisp apple. And then we've got right there is a red, let's see if I can get the camera to operate. Red Haven peach. other than it's in a bigger pot and this is something different we've done this year this is fantasia fantasia yeah, fantasia nectarine this one and that one's going to be nectarine In this hole and about twice the size as the uh, root ball or what's in the bucket and then I come back in with some of the soil put it around it and uh, I'm not trying to compact it too hard but hard enough where it's not got a lot of settle in it and I'm using some of this back dough potting soil it's got some slow release fertilizer in it and put some potting soil in the hole with it Basically, it's gonna be like three layers when I get done. It's gonna be a layer of the soil that's in, a layer of potting soil, and then finish it off with a layer of soil, and then I'll top it with the mulch. Smith apple but uh, they didn't have any so we went with a honey crisp but we got them all in the ground it's turned out to be a nice afternoon it's not as cool, quite as cool as it was uh, it's still still windy though but fingers crossed that they go good that's always a sign of a good day when your hands are black with dirt but I appreciate y'all for following along during the whole cleanup process and then the, the planting process and all that 
appreciate y'all for watching. And if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe. Don't cost a thing, just helps the channel grow. Helps us uh, get our channel name out there and more people to check us out. But uh, hope y'all have a great day. We'll see y'all on the next one.